Hi, welcome to my channel. I know some of you were surprised. Yes, this is me. This is my real voice. I was using others' voice because I was not comfortable with my voice. I was afraid that you couldn't understand because of my accent. I am also a very private person, so that's the reason why I am not using my voice and showing my face. But now, I came to realize that I should start introducing myself who I am. I migrated here in the United States and I work here as a nurse. Making videos is my hobby. In the beginning, I created this channel just for me to record the things I am doing, so I will have a reference later on what I did. Like for example, with quilt making. I was a brand new with quilt making, so I recorded the steps. So basically, I was just recording the things I am doing. Then later on, I started to record my hobby, which is gardening. Gardening and traveling are my hobbies. So now you can see, I am now mostly in gardening. Succulent gardening was just my new hobby. One of my co-workers gave me leaves of succulents to propagate last year. And from then, I started this succulent gardening. I learn as I go. I am sorry if it upsets you that I use others' voice. From now on, I will try to put my voice in my videos. Thank you for your understanding. Today, I will show you the update of my succulent garden. June is a summer season in our place. The temperature here right now is 80 degrees. It's just right temperature for them. Succulents like 40 to 80 degree weather. Generally, they don't like below 40 degree or above 80 degree. But some of them like cold weather, like for example the Aeoniums. Aeoniums like winter seasons. They grow during winter and they are dormant during summer. If you noticed, some of the succulents don't have heads. I'm still on the period of propagating. And one of the fastest way to propagate succulents are through cuttings. Later on, I will show you how I multiplied my collections through propagation. I will make another video for that.
This is my vertical garden. Vertical garden is one of the way to save space in your garden. You can plant more succulents in a small space. I use lumber so I can cut and make the right size and shape the way I want. This vertical garden is also the house of my friend. She always come here every year to lay her eggs. She's not afraid anymore because she knows she's safe here. This is the middle of my garden. I wanted to do a landscape with succulents here. I started to plant some succulents. So far they are thriving. I hope I can fill this up this year. I will slowly convert the plants to a succulents. This is the side of my garden. I almost filled up with succulents. This was also my experiment if my succulents can survive the direct sunlight. And so far they are. Some of them are actually started to show their colors. I live in Texas and our weather is unpredictable. Sometimes it rains for one week and sometimes there's no rain for several days. It is also humid in summer. Our temperature during summer can reach above 100 degrees, so I'm afraid they can be sunburned. This is my pergola that I made last year. Last month, I converted this into a greenhouse. It's because I wanted to protect my baby succulents from the sun and cold during winter. This is now my propagating area for my succulents. So far, it is working good. I'm no longer afraid of sunburn and the strong winds that can blow the leaves.
You are probably wondering why I have a lot of topsy-turvy. Topsy-turvy is one of my favorite Echeverias since last winter. It is because it was one of the two Echeverias that survived the snowstorm last year. I hope you liked the video I made. If you like it, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Press the bell button to be notified with my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.